arm. One. She just forgot that this was the beginning. Forfeiting her memory stories like books and somehow blank pages just made happy endings with pictures. Pictures seem to be easier for her arthritis grip mind to hold on to, so I bury it. It makes me into her imagination ever happily, after, happily as a picture book so she can judge me by my cover and define me again. Place a dewy desk for number next to my name and store me under friend or better yet, hide me in her reference section on the family tree with the asterisk next to my name that reads Evergreen. Because when she covered us fall in the winter of her life, her memories I swear I will never leave you to, she smiled like, she smiled like heaven played behind her teeth. And when the pearly gates part, you can almost see beautiful angels being baptized in the heart of cuspids. God in the city where the size of Jesus, vacationing on the speech. And I'm pretty sure we can call her and ask her for advice religiously. She probably answered just as easily in a ritual of Sunday morning. Follow your heart. For a seed has everything it needs in the beginning. Three, she never spared the rod. It's almost like she saw a child's innocence as a connection with God. So the more I grew, the further me and Eve grew apart. So she beat me down to keep me up. And with the gone. I lose myself in trying to find ways to stop my growth fall. Before I ever forget that I lost her twice, before she lost her life, I will crucify myself. Nail these hands to pages with pens, then I'll ink to blend with blood and form blotches on the page. For you may not be able to identify who I am, but you can see my pain through this form five. The last time I saw my grandmother alive, it was in a restaurant. And she smiled like, I thought the time the dentist had from moving her wisdom. Yeah. Oh. The only heaven that played by her teeth was a club where everyone died free before 11. And when the damaged digit doors departed, you can see broken beer bottles blistering hot by cuspids. Innocent being introduced and decencies are inside some questions. Questions hijacking the speech like I was the baby doing. Not knowing she was the first to meet on my three old niece, I replied, <coughs> the baby is doing fine. Questions like, is your grandfather cheating on me? And I replied, grandmother, why would you do a thing like that? Questions like, are you lying to me? And I replied, without cracking a smile or a moment of hesitation, grandma. You know you would beat all of the lines out of me. And she laughed. Laughed at echoing memories without a distance to make their existence seem possible to me. She wore her skin like she wore memories, loosely. It was almost as if gravity was trying to rip it off of her. So even Mother Nature knew she was an angel in the sky, getting ready to return back to God. I guess I'm six, six, seven, I But I'm sorry. I guess I just forgot that this was the beginning. Wow. Oh, yeah. That kind of reminds me of losing count. And I wonder, is this what my grandmother's all times felt? Wow.